the Spirit and the Church cry out, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. All who wait his appearance pray, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Mm -hmm. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day, in a pillar of cloud by day, in a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures we give you glory, through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew in the 11th chapter. When John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word to his disciples and said to him, Are you he who is to come, or should we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is he who takes no offense at me. They went away, and Jesus began to speak to the crowd concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to behold? A reed shaken by the wind? Why then did you go out? To see a man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, those who wear soft raiment are ki in king's houses. Why then did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, more than a prophet. This is he of whom it was written, Behold, I am sending my messenger before thy face, who shall prepare the way before you. Truly, I say to you, among those born of women, there has risen no one greater than John the Baptist. Yet he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and men of violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. If you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, who is to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Here ends the reading. O come, O come, O Lord of might, as to your tribes on Sinai's height. In ancient times you gave the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Come to you, O Israel. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. 
For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For public servants, the government, and for those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who wait from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help. Save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.